what's up everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today I have a haul video for you. Um, it's stuff that I got from Alta, not Alta, Sephora, stuff I ordered from Sephora, and then some items that I had picked up actually today. We went to the mall uh, near here. I went shopping. I went to TJ Maxx. Uh, a Rite Aid. Boy, I could have gotten some things in Rite Aid. Um, let's try to think of what, uh, what other store did we go into. I went Bath and Body Works. Didn't end up with anything. Can you believe that? Um, I'm not sure. Sometimes it depends on... Um, there's some sense in there that I really like the smell of... I love, I love the smell of the cashmere something. It has that nice... Vanilla, vanilla e whatever smell or some I don't know I was just having a problem with some of the other scents so which as you can see I was gonna say that in a couple you'll notice in my videos I'm wearing almost like the same outfit so but I am doing some filming that is like um, just several videos and stuff all together but yeah, you can see the guy back there I don't know if I was doing my giveaway and I didn't realize until after I was watching uh, not my giveaway, but my giveaway winner. I was announcing the giveaway winner, and I see his like legs were all sprawled out. I'm thinking, oh my god, like what a view for all of you to see my cat sprawled eagle <laughs> on the video. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into what we got. Which like yeah, like Sephora. I got stuff here, like some stuffs like the. You know, them uh, sample things and uh, dock sample things that you get. Um, so, some of the samples I ended up getting. Um, i trying to think of where I put this at, actually, now. Hopefully I can remember where I put it at, because I got a sample of that ginseng eye cream that everybody talks about from Origins. It's um, like a, it says like a shot of espresso for tired eyes. And I needed that today, because I didn't get much sleep. So I used that and I quite liked it. Very nice. So possibly could be a purchase in the future. Um, I got two of these. I wanted to try the Tatcha uh, Company and it's the Pure One Step uh, Camila Cleansing Oil, which I love cleansing oils. Um, these are on the higher end, pricier uh, kind of cleansing oil. But I just very give it a try. So I got two of those. Um, because, like, mind you, I ended up with two different orders from Sephora, is what ended up happening. This I really liked, and I couldn't find it, um, on the, I'll have to look on the site again or something like that, but Living Proof, Living Proof Curl Defining Styling Cream. Um, I had had a sample of this, or a small bottle of it before. I loved it, so... And then I was looking on the site the one day and didn't notice it, so I was kind of hoping that um, I it. got a deluxe sample with my points, the Clinique uh, Repair Wear Sculpting Night Cream. I got that. I wanted to give it a try. It's a night cream. It's from Clinique. Um, I have used this before, and I always loved it. And I should just get the big size. My husband even likes it. The Olay Hendrickson Truth Serum Collagen Booster. Um, got a nice deluxe sample of that. I, I think I should just get the whole, the big one. I really should, because it is a great product. Um, I'm not sure how you pronounce this brand. Julak, Julak, Julak. How? Hmm. I don't know. But that. <laughs> and Rose Water Balancing Mist. And it's really cute because the bottle is actually a nice glass bottle. So, got that. And I've actually been liking it. I don't know if I noticed the difference between it and Mario Badescu, but I figured I'd give it a try. So, we'll see. And then I wore this earlier today. As a matter of fact, I had it on one of my previous videos before. It's the full bodied lipstick from Buxom. Um, and this one's in Dolly. So it's a nice size. It's a little, little one. Dolly. Dolly's like a mauve color. It's really pretty. It's one of my 
favorite colors. Right there it is. That's Dolly. I just heard somebody talking about this actually, and I was just curious about it. it is the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream. I got a little deluxe sample of the BB Cream from Smashbox. Do you like Smashbox products? I love their uh, primer in that, so I'm looking forward so to doing that. So one of again. the first things I got was the Inner uh, Stellar Kat Von D palette. You know I was gonna do it. You just you, you know me with Kat Von D. So I want to get the um, contour palette definitely. So uh, I've already used this. <clears throat> I couldn't stand it. I already used it once and just loved it. It's very pretty. Very nice casing. Just so pretty. But so so pretty typical and whatever of Kat Von D's shadows. But there they are there. Just so pretty. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Just love them. <laughs> I've been in a buxom kick lately. Um, I got this set here. I don't know if it's still on there now, but it's the True Hue. You get the True Hue blush. And then you get one of the Buxom um, lip tarnish, full on lip tarnish. You get these two together for like $29. There's this one, and then I noticed I got like a more pinky tone one. This is more neutral. Uh, this is called uh, Levitate. 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 And this is Mugshot in the Lip product. Um, Levitate, it's, um, I've worn this a couple times, it is a really nice, uh, blush. I was hoping to get a Kat Von D blush. That's what came, made me come across these, because these almost remind me of her blushes to a degree, the way the packaging is, and the way the blushes are in general. That's it there, it's, it's of a nude color, but it's really pretty. Really, really nice color. I like it. The mug shot. Actually, it's kind of cool. I never, I, I have the lipsticks, but I never had the lip tarnish because they come like this and then it has like a, um, so you can sharpen it like a sharpie. And then here's the color mug shot. It's really pretty. I really like it. So there it is. There, there's mug shot. It has that minty, minty smell. Okay, so that was from my first order. So then my second order, I had to cave and I got, well I didn't have to cave, but I got the Too Faced uh, No Filter Selfie, those selfie powders. As soon as I seen this, I wanted to get it. And you know me with Too Faced, I love Too Faced products. Just love them. I haven't really gotten a chance to really play with this much at all. But, um, you know, there you go. There you got your colors. This is called uh, Sunrise, which yellow, yellowy color. Your sunrise. Uh, the um, me yeah, the medium one is called. Um, Totally Toasted, there's that one, Totally Toasted, and then this is a Lavender Moon River, this is a, a Lavender, which really don't see too much of it. Those are the colors right there from the palette. I haven't gotten a chance to really play around with it yet to really see how it all works. The thing I thought I would get is the Stila Smitten with Kitten makeup set. I don't know if anybody had seen this yet, but um, comes with one of their lip gloss, lip gloss thingies and eyeshadow and then um, a cream, uh, like a highlight cream. Uh, what you call it? <laughs> That's what it looks like. Um, in there. I never tried um, Kitten as in the eyeshadow. I always hear a lot of people talk about it, so I'm kind of anxious to try these out 
and play with them. And the lip gloss looks pretty nice too. So uh, I don't want to do too many swatches on everything. I would, but you know, but I mean, like obviously, if you're interested, like I could do a look with some of this stuff and just whatever. Or if you want a review of anything, um, and then like definitely won't take each one of these out right now. Um, I suppose I could try to at some point, but this is the Buxom Pink with Envy. I told you I was on a Buxom kick. Um, pink with Envy. There is, I think starting here, it's like Elizabeth, and then there's Alexandra, Wesley, Madison, Jill, and Erica. Uh, Alexandra, Wesley, and Madison, these three here are, I guess, like a limited edition kind of a kind of a color. So, um, it says, Elizabeth is a raspberry sorbet. That's this one here. Alexandra's a pink uh, tully something. Wesley's a playful pink. Madison's a coral reef. Jill's a magenta tees. And Erica's cotton candy pink. So there's the whole set there. So I got those. And then um, I talked about this. I've been messing around with uh, fragrances and everything. I would like to have the full size, but I don't have the full size. Uh, so I, I got the Rollerball, and it's the Prada Candy in the uh, Flori Floreal, or however you pronounce that. It's this one here. And this is so my fragrance. Like I didn't really care for the other Prada Candy, the original one, the first one. But this one here I really like because it has that flor the floral notes. And um, I wore this earlier today. This just smells... This is a definite me fragrance, definitely. I really like it. So, uh, possibly might ask for that for my birthday. Okay, so that's the stuff that I got from Sephora. Okay, then I got some products from TJ Maxx and Rite Aid. Um, i never been in a TJ Maxx before. The only disappointment was they didn't really have much of a makeup line. They are starting to get some there, or they, had, they did have some uh, makeup brushes and stuff. Um, they didn't quite see the full-on makeup or anything, but we did go through and we went through and seen some skincare, which um, I got this Dead Sea Treatment uh, Aloe Vera Moisturizing Cream. I have never tried, but I figured what the heck, which that's my cat. And it was like $5.99. So, um, and it comes in a nice glass jar like this. I hear you, honey. So, right there it is. You've seen this here from Skin Lab. <laughs> oh, sounds so sad. Hold on. And then this is from Skin Lab with vitamin C, uh, Lift and Firm. Um, it's like an eye gel kind of a thing. I don't know. I've never heard of them, but I lived in firm. That sounded good to me, and I figured I'd give it a try. Six ninety nine for that. So I don't know if anybody has ever heard of Skin Lab, but it says collagen and elasticity. Um, it uh, targets fine lines and puffiness. So I figured I'd give it a whirl. Then, since we did get some masks before, and then I had Timeless Truth send me some masks, which I'm placing my order, placed my order, I should say, um, and then we came across these from um, Bio Miracles, the company. I don't know if anybody's ever heard of them, but there's five in a box, um, and they were $5.99 for the whole box. Um, and this one here is, um, Q10, I don't know how you say it, something zyme, collagen, Q10, uh, anti-wrinkle and increases el elasticity, so got that, that's a box of five, and then got this one here, which is vitamin C collagen essence, it's brightening and moisturizing, so I got that one. So that'll be fun to play around with. 
like I said, you get five in them, so there's like ten there, and then plus I'll get seven other ones. And then in Rite Aid, honest goodness, I could have gone nuts in Rite Aid if I really wanted to. Um, I don't know if y'all know, because like I had seen in the UK, they had them, but L'Oreal has those palette, like Maybelline came out with the nude palettes, so of course, you know, the other brands are going to start coming out with theirs, and L'Oreal has one, and um, I seen the display thing there, but there was none left, it's like coming soon. But they're like 20 bucks a piece is what they're going to be from what I've seen in that Rite Aid anyway. I'm not sure, like right here in my hometown itself. I was 30 minutes away from here, but like $20, I think, is what I've seen for one of them drugstore palettes. Um, there was like Naked 1 and 2 or something they were calling it. Um, you know, I, I don't know. A lot of them are coming out with some of these. So, I don't know. So, when I was in Rite Aid, I did come across some limited edition stuff, which, of course, I was excited because, like, I never come across any limited edition stuff. The only thing is, I only got uh, two limited editions, and they're each two different things, but, because I couldn't go too crazy, obviously, don't have the money to go totally wild. Um, but one of the things I seen, Tara Babies, I was watching her, she was doing a drugstore haul, and she was showing some of the new CoverGirl eyeshadows, and the one that caught my eye is this one here. It is called Blooming Blushes, and they're like in the pink tone, so it's Blooming Blushes, so pretty. Oh, those are pretty. So there they are there, let's swatchy swatchy. There's a nice pink, I don't know why I did it that way, I did it kind of backwards. Up. Color is so pretty. Oh. Now, they were like a hit and miss for her for swatching, but there they are right there. Isn't that color pretty? I'll go ahead and the first thing, like I have it on my lips right now, this color right here, and um, the Bloom, Bloom, the Bloom lipsticks, the ones that, you know, the Bloom lipsticks that just came out from Maybelline. Of course, they had to come out with limited edition ones, you know. Um, I seen, what was there? Uh, one, two, there was like maybe five, five shades, and I only could pick one though, and I thought, well, if I'm going to pick one, I want to pick a good one. And there was um, one that was like an orange color, there was one that was more of a nice, it was a nice light pink color. However, I do have, um, what's that pink one that's in the uh, Vivids? If anybody can remember that one. I have that pink one and I love that one. So I felt like, okay, I already have that and it's kind of almost similar. So yeah. Um, then there was another pink color and I'm trying to think what else. I'm trying to remember the other color. But this one I got was in 970. Carnation Cabernet is what it's called, 970, and it is limited edition, I hate to say, but you know, it's in them blooms, but oh, when I seen this, yeah, it had my name on it, because it has the purple tone, berry purpley tone into it, which we will swatch here, that's what I, like I said, that's what I have on my lips right now, right there it is. That's no, definitely me color, so, and I showed my husband this too, and he's like, yeah, that one, so, um, I grabbed that one, and then lastly, I was really excited about this, because I ended up finding the color tattoos, I only seen, because they were with the bloom, the bloom colors, like, because they were, there was a pink one, pink something was the one, and the one I got was in, Hibiscus Heartbreak is what it's called. Hibiscus Heartbreak. Oh my gosh. This, it doesn't even do it justice there. Let's see if it'll do. This is of a beautiful pinky purple, orchidy. I don't even know if I want to say, or I don't, just beautiful color. Wait till you see how this, I was, I mean, I love this color. This is going to be, 
probably my favorite tattoo shadow. There you can see on my finger there. Oh, sorry for not flipping you off. But that is the color. There it is there. Do you see that? <gasps> this, I feel like it was my best buy when I was out today. I mean, the lipstick was a great buy too. Not that it wasn't. I, I was so happy with that. But when I seen this, just when I seen it on, on the outside of the thing, I was like in love. Now, they have the pink color. But, you know, like I said, I could only pick... And obviously I was going to pick the one that had more of the purple tone in it too. And this one's called Hibiscus Heartbreak. Again, unfortunately, it's limited edition. I hate when I do that though. Because it makes it so hard. That's everything. Yeah, that's everything. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I did have fun going shopping. And I didn't get all this stuff in like one day. It is a collective haul. Like I'm, I'm going to try and see if I can find any more... Um, drugstore products because I was like quite happy. It was so exciting to be there and, and finally, you know, see some of this stuff like and you know, but um, let me know what you think about the whole L'Oreal palettes. I was pretty excited at first. I thought they had them there. I mean, of course, I'd have jumped on that, but then twenty dollars for that palette because I think the Maybelline one, if I wasn't mistaken, was it close to fifteen? Maybe? I don't know. But that's what I, I noticed on their side. So it's probably going to depend on where you're at. I can only imagine if you're in New York or somewhere like that, it's probably going to be over 20, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, bees, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And y'all take care. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to me, I would so love to have you. Go ahead and click on the subscribe button and join me. And as always, bees, please remember to... Be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until next time, take care.